how to backup configuration on Dell AMC networking operating system DNOS 10 with Ansible, maintaining a backup copy of your network appliance configuration is a good practice for all IT professionals. You could automate this process for Dell MC network appliances using Ansible. I'm going to show you in a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about the Ansible module OS10 underscore config. The full name is Dell EMC dot OS10 dot OS10 underscore config, which means that is part of a collection Dell EMC dot OS10 specialized to interact with Ansible network collection for Dell MC OS10. This collection requires Ansible Core version 10. Do, dot, uh, sorry, 2.10 or follower. It manages Dell AMC OS10 configuration section. Parameter. Let me summarize the parameter of OS10 underscore config module for the backup use case. The backup boolean enables the backup mode of the configuration. Once enabled, you could specify some Backup options. I suggest you to specify the dir underscore path, the directory where to save the caps, and the file name if you have a specific one. Otherwise, Ansible is going to create a file with a current timestamp. Demo time. How to backup configuration on Dell Automation? No. Dell op Network Operating System 10 with Ansible Playbook. I'm going to show you how to backup the current configuration of the Dell Networking Operating System 10, connecting via SSH protocol using username and password credential with enable mode, privilege escalation, and save it to a file with device name and timestamp. Are you ready to have fun? Let's deep dive. Welcome to my editor. Let's start with the inventory file, literally the list of the host that we need uh, to interact with. So let me create a namespace Dell OS 10 and specify all the list of device, in my case only one 88.4 in my local area network and then some uh, group variable. I prefer to write in, in the same file, but feel free to write in a group file. First of all, let's begin with a SSH username defined as Ansible underscore user, Luca in my case, and Ansible password, which is the SSH password to connect with uh, network device. My secret password 123, yes, this is an example, but uh, consider to enforce with uh, Ansible Vault. Let me specify also the privilege escalation. We need a C administrative right, so let me enable the become with the become method enabled. After all, we need some uh, network things uh, like uh, Ansible underscore connection in my case will be ansible underscore netcom and dot uh, network cli this is a simple is is like a ansible direct to speak with a device is very important another things we need to specify ansible underscore network underscore os del amc dot os 10 dot os 10 this is the specific language of a network device. Oh, what else? We need also to increase timeout from 30 seconds to 120, 2 minutes. 
with a good habit, especially with a slow device, you know, network device are busy managing network traffic and sometimes the console and the backup operation can take longer. So increasing the timeout will definitely help you to succeed on the backup task. Then now let's start the rock and roll where the backup operation is actually performed. Ansible Playbook, let's begin with a play name Backup DNOS 10 that is going to be executed again the host group Dell OS 10, the one that we define in our inventory. Let me disable fact gathering, we don't need the system information and network device doesn't support generally this stuff. Uh, let me define a custom variable, the backup directory, where to save the file, in my case under slash home slash luca slash network slash backup. This is a brand new directory, so I'm expecting Ansible to create for me. Uh, let me define the collection used in this Ansible playbook, Dell AMC dot OS 10 as well. And now let's use the task, only one named backup that is using OS 10 underscore backup is uh, under the collection. So we don't need to specify the full name. Let me enable the backup mode and specify some backup underscore options. In my case, only the directory where to save a file, so dir underscore path will be the value of my backup underscore dir. And that's it. We have successfully created an inventory, a list of devices with all the necessary parameters to connect to and the Ansible playbook where the action began. We basically only have a directory and where to save and the backup operation and we are ready to go. Oh, there is actually another file that we might want to populate, the requirement.yml. This is a file where you list the dependency of your code. And in my case, uh, there is only one collection named Dell AMC OS 10. This makes you easy to move a code from one workstation to another and is a good habit to always have in your project. So now I'm really ready to go. Just need to install this collection and run my code. Well, not really. Let me correct some typo. Here under inventory, of course, I need to use the same name of uh, my pattern. And what else? Here is not OS 10 backup, but is uh, OS 10 config. My bad, I was too, too in a hurry. Now the code should work. Finally, welcome to my terminal. I already logged in to my Ansible controller for network and I'm on the directory home Luca network with a free file that we just created in the editor. Let me verify that Ansible is available. The Ansible dash dash version is Ansible Core 2.12. Everything seems ready to go. First of all, let's install the Dell collection with Ansible dash galaxy install dash r for recursive and requirement.yml. Everything will be completely automatically so Ansible Galaxy is connecting to the Galaxy registry and install the website and oh the collection and all the dependency. So now that we could verify with Ansible dash galaxy command collection list so we can see Dell AMC dot OS 10 and uh, the dependency ansible.utils and ansible.netcommon. So we are ready to have fun with our Ansible playbook. So get ready to execute with uh, specify the inventory and uh, the playbook file. The execution will be faster, well, was faster than expected with a fatal error because uh, Ansible is asking permission to validate the fingerprint uh, key. 
So we need to save a fingerprint of a SSH connection. The easiest way is to connect directly with a username Luca at IP address and let me terminate with Ctrl C. The key was successfully saved in our machine, so I'm able to execute again the playbook and this time I'm expecting a successful resi result, specifically change status. So let's see how it works. Uh, in a blink of an eye I'm expecting Ansible to return OK status, yay! Success! So let list the control directory, there is a new backup directory with a file inside. Great! This is the configuration backup. So everything seems sorted out and what happens if we execute again the same code? Well, Ansible is going to connect to the network device and what are you expecting? Execute back another backup. As you can see, the backup operation is taking a while because uh, the machine, the network device probably was busy, so it was good that we increased uh, the timeout. Listing the backup folder now has uh, two different files, and uh, the type is ASCII text. I'm not opening because they have uh, sensitive information about my network, and uh, that's all. Yay! we have a way to successfully backup our network device with uh, Dell Operating System 10, DNOS 10. Great! Good job Ansible! Now you know how to backup uh, configuration on Dell AMC Network Operating System DNOS 10 with Ansible. Thank you for watching and if you want to automate more, don't miss the next lesson of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!